How's it going guys? I'm Wars SMD here and welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to discuss something that you guys may or may not find interesting. And these are Scott Cawthon's hidden, well I guess you can say easter eggs within his games. That are basically referencing his older games and his older basically creations that he has made. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys can make sure to slap that like button and subscribe for more. Regardless. Let's get right to this. Now, we're going to start first with the game that actually inspired Scott Cawthon to create Five Nights at Freddy's. And, well, the three main characters in Five Nights at Freddy's, excluding Foxy since he's not considered a main character to uh, Scott Cawthon, the three main characters to Five Nights at Freddy's, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica, were actually probably referenced in this game. As you guys can see here, you can see that there's a thing that you can actually create in the game called Bruce. And Bruce actually has a strong resemblance to none other than Freddy Fazbear. Now, with that also being said, I should also point out the character himself. Chipper, well, does in fact look like Freddy, although he is a beaver. Just wanted to point that out. But with that aside, as you can also see, there are totem poles that do resemble both Chica and one that actually resembles Bonnie quite well. I mean, a purple bunny, how could it be any different than that? Bunny isn't, like, purple. Along in the game, another totem pole that we can see here appears to be a green alligator looking thing. And this green alligator can also be referenced in 5 Minutes of Freddy's 3 if you beat the game and get the Happiest Day minigame. You'll actually play as the marionette and walk around and one of the masks actually, like I said, closely resembles this, well, totem pole. Which I'm assuming the other masks do at well as well at some point in one of Scott's games. Probably just some references or maybe something for 5 Minutes of Freddy's that we haven't seen yet. You never know. Now, there's also a Five Nights at Freddy's reference in Five Nights at Freddy's as well. I know, that makes no sense. But if you actually do play Five Nights at Freddy's 1, and everyone at this point is aware of this, you'll actually see that there's a marionette face, which means that Scott Calton, as he's confirmed already, has planned out the Five Nights at Freddy's games from 1 to 4. It almost seems like Five Nights at Freddy's is almost circulating all of his games, like he planned out each and single one of them for them to either become famous or not become famous. It's kind of weird if you think about it. The last reference I can find Chipper and Sons is this picture here of what you can see appears to look like Toy Chica. Now you may be saying why. Well the reason why I'm saying this is because you can clearly see that character has endoskeleton eyes and the pink cheeks that Toy Chica would have. And if you look at the beak, it's empty unlike all the other ones. And as you all know, in 5 Minutes of Freddy's 2, Toy Chica actually does remove her beak from the game. Now, there are in fact references that I did find in Desolate Hope, and if you haven't seen my video on that already, then you guys should probably check that out as well. A link to that video will be found in the description. I basically point out two things that you may or may not have noticed in Desolate Hope that could have been referenced in 5 Minutes of Freddy's. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated for my future videos and posts, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.